My name is Autumn Westfall. I'm the director of teacher training at a private uh, training center in Midtown Manhattan in New York City called Rennert, New York. Um, and I also work with the uh, language school. We have foreign languages and, and ESL as well. My school, my affiliated language school, Rennert, um, has actually used the global scale of English to try and um, move our, our curricula away from the course books. Our current syllabus is directly based off of the course books. So, so if we decide to change course books, we have to completely rewrite everything and start over again from scratch. So we started working with the global scale of English to make a more generalized curriculum that could then just be tweaked and adjusted if we decide to change course books in the future. So that was my first interaction with the GSE. Once I saw how that worked in terms of curriculum building, I thought, well, you know, we have these pre-service teachers who don't know anything about what students are supposed to be able to do at varied proficiencies of English. Perhaps this could be a really good tool for them in this course where they're learning how to teach and they may only get to interact with one group of language learners, probably B1, B1+. And, and this could be a tool for them to kind of give them more independence in lesson planning. They could choose their own lesson topics. They could make decisions about what's more level appropriate for their students in the practicum, you know, with, with less guidance from me so they feel that they have more ownership over what they're teaching. So in our pre-service teacher training course, it's comparable to the CELTA. It's called the SITT, so it's a four-week intensive, 160-hour course. So in terms of incorporating the global scale of English into this, what we did is we, um, my training team and I created a workshop about the, the levels of English, the different proficiencies of English where we introduce them to the common European framework and how the global scale of English kind of fits within that. And then introduce them to the, um, the teacher toolkit, the GSE teacher toolkit. And then they, at the end of that workshop, they choose language that they're going to teach for their first solo lesson. Then we considered, okay, well, they've had one encounter with the global scale and the teacher toolkit, but how can we better integrate this in to the rest of the course so they have multiple encounters with this tool? So then we, we incorporated the toolkit into guided lesson planning. So choosing grammar topics, choosing sets of vocabulary, and even choosing general speaking competencies, as well as, you know, the, the global scale of English covers listening, reading, writing, and everything. So we, we kind of used that as a starting point in guided lesson planning throughout the course so that the trainees could go to the toolkit, find a list of things that they think would be appropriate to the class, then we come together, we consider the needs analysis that we've already done with the practicum students, and we kind of make a connection with what they found in the global scale toolkit to the students' needs and what we think would be most relevant to the class. So it's kind of become an integrated part of our course, and the, the trainees might be inter interacting with the toolkit, you know, once or twice a week, depending on, you know, how often they're choosing topics for their lessons. So in terms of the benefits of incorporating the GSE into the course, what I'm hoping is that the trainees will have this tool in order to um, get a better understanding of different language proficiencies that then they'll take with them out of the course. And then when they're working with different proficiencies and they're not quite sure what to do or maybe what's in the course book isn't particularly relevant for the students and they know a topic that they want to focus on but they're not quite sure which language is associated with that, they can then go back to this as a tool to use to support you know, building their schema of, of, of different proficiencies of English in their first or second year of teaching. They have that, that confidence that this tool is going to support them. At the point that they finish the course, they, they've identified the benefits of the GSE and have said that, yes, this has helped us gain confidence in terms of working with students with, of different levels. So I feel like that's, that's really great.